The other day, my guy Noah sent us an article from Glenn Irby of Ravens Wire where he went over his predictions on all the Ravens pending free agents and whether he feels like they're going to stay or whether they are going to go. And we got started on that list, but we started and stopped all at Odell Beckham Jr. We just started running our mouth and talking, 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 talking. We forgot to go over everybody else on that list. So to my guy Noah, this one is for you so again this article is from ravens wire we will link it down below in the description it's titled predicting the fates of ravens free agents in 2024 it says baltimore faces an off season of change after mike mcdonald bolted for the seahawks job anthony weaver landed a dolphins defensive coordinator job and 29 players are set to be free agents headlined by patrick queen and justin matabike the ravens are 20th in the nfl and cap space and there will be critical decisions regarding several vital contributors and two all pros with an urgent off season underway we're looking at who should stay or go via over the cap and number one on that list well before you get into this make sure you subscribe to the channel all right, and I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel uh, and, and leave a like on the video as well. Team, keep it clean. As of right now, as of this recording, we are at 73,630 subscribers. So we are 370 away. If I'm doing my math correctly, we are 370 away from 74K. So I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for supporting, especially in this offseason, especially now in the offseason, because right now a lot of Ravens fans are still detoxing from the Baltimore Ravens. They're still detoxing from the NFL, and I can't be mad at that at all. But the, those of you that have been showing up, those of you that have been coming through, I appreciate y'all. And even the ones that have been detoxing, I still appreciate y'all. I just see y'all when y'all get back. Anyway, back to the article. Um, so the first prediction was Odell Beckham Jr. And they predicted that Odell Beckham Jr. will be gone. Next up is Kevin Zeitler. And he actually predicted Kevin Zeitler would stay. He said Baltimore could lose both offensive tackles and Zeitler is on pace for more than a thousand snaps played in every year with the team. The Pro Bowl snub is still going strong at 33 years old, earning a pass blocking grade above 80 for the second consecutive season in 2023. Since week four, Zeitler had 428 pass blocking snaps, allowing 12 pressures, zero hits and zero sacks. So when he plays, he protects. But I actually disagree with that one. I think that Kevin Zeitler is gone. Because And this article came out on February 21st, so this came out after uh, Zeitler had already, they, they didn't come to a contract agreement with him. And he got like, I think, four mil on the cap. That's dead money. So I felt like if the Ravens were going to get it done, they would have got it done already. So I think with them taking that dead cap hit like that, I think he's out of there. I, I, I think he's gone. But hey, if they want to bring him back, no problem. You want to have that consistency for the offensive line for Lamar Jackson, especially on the interior, well... <laughs> we'll talk about the other one in a little bit But anyway, I, I, I think he's gone though. Uh, next up, Rocky Scene They said that they think that he's going to be gone I agree I, I think he'll be gone as well Now, next up, Gus Edwards They think that he will be gone I agree too uh, For both parties Both parties, I think it, it'll be good for both parties To just separate themselves for each other um, And just go the other way Reason, especially with Gus Edwards Because he had that, that, that he should have had more opportunities to be that guy But he never got that And he's never going to get that with the Baltimore Ravens They are never going to have him be their guy um, And maybe if he can go to another team And get more of an opportunity Maybe he'll get that But it's never going to come with the Baltimore Ravens If it hasn't come by now He's been with the team since 2018 It, it ain't never going to happen And we knew it wasn't going to happen years ago But still Baltimore Ravens They showed it's not going to happen Gus Edwards go, go flap your wings somewhere else And hopefully he'll get more of an opportunity So I'm in agreement uh, with them with this When they say Gus Edwards go Patrick Queen Oh They think Patrick Queen is gonna stay Oh I'm I'm shocked at this one now Hold up Cause I Okay let's read why He said his 35 quarterback pressures And 8 sacks over the last two seasons Are both second Among off-ball linebackers in the NFL The running mate for Roquan Smith Queen made his first Pro Bowl this season After logging a career high 125 tackles 78 solo and matched a career high with six passes defend defense while adding three and a half sacks. Nine tackles for loss, one interception, one forced fumble, and one fumble recovery for the best defense in the league. Queen is the only NFL de defender to produce at least 400 tackles, 10 sacks, and 10 takeaways since he in entered the league in 2020. With Baltimore needing to resign Justin Matabike, Queen will likely get to test the market and potentially land a $100 million deal. Wow, but I'm, I'm still I'm, I'm shocked that how they, they think he's going to stay. Wow, especially even after saying all that, I wonder if that's a typo in the article. No, I don't think so. But I don't see Queen staying just because of the money. I think they want him. I think they want to keep him for sure. But I don't see him staying. I wouldn't be mad if he did, but we'll we'll see. Devin Duvernay, he said he will go. 
I I agree. Um, similar to the uh, Gus Edwards, well, similar but different. Uh, but with Devin Duvernay, it's just it, with the Baltimore Ravens, you're always going to be a gadget guy. He's never going to be a, a normal receiver or whatnot. So just yeah, go 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 look for opportunity elsewhere. Um, to, and hopefully wherever Devin Duvernay does end up, then he can get a real opportunity to show what he can do in the league. Cause he got hands. He got hands. Uh, he's not the shiftiest. He, again, straight line speed for Devin Duvernay. But he can make some stuff happen. So I am in agree- agreement with them. They said that they expect him to go. Uh, Melvin Gordon. Oh, go. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's, let's keep going. Jadavian Clowney. Ooh, this is a good one. They think he'll stay. I would love that. Said um, Clowney finished the year as one of the highest graded performers, logging a career high nine sacks, nine tackles for loss, 51 hurries, and 71 QB pressures. Wow. It's, it's because he just – Jadavian Clowney was like that, man. He, he's like that. So many people doubted him going into this season. So many people doubted him really his entire career. But um, they said he was lazy. They said this, that. And he shut all of that down this year. He said, I still got it. I can play. But now if he stays with the Baltimore Ravens, which I would love, they're going to have to come up on that check, man. They're going to have to pay him some bread, man. It ain't going to be nothing too crazy, crazy, but it's going to be a lot more than it was last year. So, anyway, Geno Stone. Ooh, Geno Stone. I am in agreement with them. They said Geno Stone is going to go. And, yeah, we know Geno Stone's going to go. We'll talk about his interview more in depth uh, in another video. But, yeah, Geno Stone's gone. He knows he will never get the opportunity with the Baltimore Ravens to play that free safety position. He knows he's not going to be a starter with the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, he, he, he's gone. So and, and he's in line to get paid. So, hey, shout out to Geno. So it'll be good for him. Justin Matabike. They put stay. I think we're all in agreement with that one. Let's just read it anyway. Say, Matabike had a streak this season where he logged at least half a sack in 11 or 13 games while doubling his previous sack totals. He'll command $25 million plus on the open market and could be even more productive alongside another elite talent. <laughs> it's going to get some bread. Ooh, that boy Justin Matabike. I'm happy for him, man. He's going to get his bread. Whoa. It's another shocker right here. They said for J.K. Dobbins. He said stay. I I fully expect J.K. Dobbins to be gone, but he said stay. Let's read why. He said through 23 games of his career, Dobbins has been among the NFL's most efficient runners, complete with the highest explosive run rate at 15.2% among all running backs in 2022. Dobbins missed the 2023 season with a torn Achilles, but he must stay because he'll be healthier than Keith Mitchell when training camp rolls around, and Justice Hill is the only other running back currently under contract. Oh, but Dobbins isn't under contract, so they would have to sign him. To a contract but oh that is something Right there and that Is a good point that he made about He would be healthier than Keith Mitchell but so would Dalvin Cook But I guess we'll get to Dalvin Cook in a little bit but that, That's a surprising one right there about J.K. Dobbins Or Darius Washington Stay I, I, I can see That too I agree Tyler Huntley Oh I forget that Tyler Huntley's a free agent like an Official free agent no restricted free agent But they said go yeah, I think so too. And Baltimore Ravens prepped themselves for that by signing Malik Cunningham. So yeah, I, I could see that. Kyle Vanoy, oh, they predict Kyle Vanoy is gonna stay. I think he loves it with the Ravens. It really seemed like you got that vibe from him that he would love to stay with the Ravens because he even like the the season been over for weeks. He's still talking Ravens and all that, walking around with Kyle Hamilton at the Super Bowl and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, Kyle, look, Kyle and Kyle. But anyway, oh yeah, he did the commercial with Kyle Hamilton too. What, what commercials? I forget what it was, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, they predict that he stay. Oh, okay, okay. Say so you can never have enough good pass rushers or leadership on your roster, and for the right price, Vinoy has to return after posting thirty tackles and a career a career best nine sacks in fourteen games with the Ravens during the regular season. Hey, hey, okay. I like it. Ronald Darby stay. Ooh, okay, that would be good. I wouldn't be mad at that because Ronald Darby, when he played, he was good. He did his thing overall. So yeah, I could see that one. Uh, Laquan Treadwell go. Yeah. Uh, Josh Johnson Stay Oh Cause it'd be Lamar Jackson Oh I guess like As a safety valve As a security blanket At that emergency Third quarterback position Okay I, I can see that Well let's read What they had to say Malik Cunningham Is an intriguing prospect Who doesn't have much NFL experience The Ravens could bring back Johnson at the right price Boom Simple as that Vet minimum Yeah So I, I can see that Daryl Worley Go I didn't know he was Even a free agent Okay well, That's an interesting one Brent Urban Go We'll see. I feel like Brent Urban like got like a, a a a hidden lifetime contract with the Ravens or something. They, he just keep coming back, coming back, coming back. Then he go to Chicago for a little bit. I think he did, but he ended up coming right back to the Ravens. I I think he'll come back. I I, I did. I remember this off season. 
Um, I didn't think he was gonna make the roster, but he certainly did. Obviously, uh, but shout out to Brent Urban. But they they think he's gonna go, so we'll see. Delshawn Phillips go. Okay. Uh, Malik Harrison. Ooh, he's a free agent. Yeah, he is. Four years is up. They think he'll stay. Okay, that be that be a nice depth piece right there. I, I I like Malik Harrison. Really good against the run. So shout out to Malik. Tyler Ott stay. Oh, long snapper who they signed when uh Nick Moore went down. Um, so that would be interesting there. Cause what about Nick Moore? What do you do with him? Or is his contract up? Or I, I don't know the status of his contract. Dalvin Cook. Oh, they think he's gonna go. Ooh. Okay, I'm a little surprised by that one. Not too much, but a little bit. He said Cook finished the year with 75 carries for 237 yards and no touchdowns, adding 15 catches for 78 yards on 20 targets, including the postseason. Well, do you include the postseason? Because <laughs> ain't nothing happened there. Uh, anyway, the veteran began the year with the Jets before mutually parting ways in time to sign with the Ravens. Cook saw action in the divisional round with a win over the Texans with eight carries for 23 yards, but was a scratch in the AFC title game. Yeah. Bunch of nothing. So, yeah. And that's not his fault. That's, well, we know whose fault. That is. Anyway. Arthur Millette, stay. Ooh, he, Arthur Millette is an interesting one, man, because he, and I know cornerback's a tough position to grade. It's a tough position to just cover because it's a tough position to play. And as a fan, we just see the big plays, whether it's a good big play or a bad big play. We just see the big stuff. With Arthur Millette, it was, it was a lot of up and down this year as far as those big plays. Um, but they, they said stay. Said Millette had 34 tackles, two sacks, and one interception in a limited role. Okay. Well, when, you, when you put it like that. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, let's see who is up next. Yeah, again, some of these, some of these things have been surprising, man. Um, they, they, they've been very, very surprising. But let's keep it going. Um, where we at? Oh, sorry, the, the, the article just ended up reloading on me. All right, John Simpson. Oh, they said John Simpson stay. I for sure thought he would be another one. We would be like, oh, no, he's going to go. Said both starting guards are pending free agents. Baltimore could amass more salary cap space by moving on from both offensive tackles. Kevin Seidler wants to return, and Ravens could look to give Sala or Andrew Voorhees an opportunity. Simpson allowed one sack on the season but had a 56.5 PFF grade in 1,118 snaps with five hits allowed and 26 pressures. Those numbers don't seem accurate. He only allowed one sack. I don't know, it seemed like it was a little worse than that, but I don't know. Sam Mustafa, go Oh, I forgot about him. They signed him. He started early this season when uh I think Tyler Linderbaum was out for like a game or two. And Sam Mustafa, he started. And he did his thing, too. But they think he's going to go. Um, And that's it. That's all, folks. Wow. That, that was fun, man. So, hey, Noah, I appreciate you sending me this article. And shout out to Glenn Irby from Ravens Wire for producing it. This was a really good one. And, again, I, I thought that going over the article, like there may be some guys here or there that we may disagree on, but I, I was really shocked by what they said in that article about who they think is going to stay and who they some guys who they think are going to go. Especially, again, they think Patrick Queen is going to stay. They think J.K. Dobbins is going to stay too. I said, whoa, those like really, really surprised me. But, hey, that's what predictions are about. Sometimes you got to make some bolder predictions than others, or sometimes you got a different viewpoint than other people. You see stuff from a different angle or perspective. So we'll see how much of these predictions end up coming true and which other ones. <laughs> 